Week 11 is upon us. We are on the home stretch towards the end. Possibly one of the one weeks that everyone pretty much agrees. This is Sports Hour. What's up, guys? Alexander Thomas here. Eh, well, it's not gonna help me. Welcome to week for week 11 for the Sports Hour series here, and it was a pretty interesting week last week. That is not showing. Give me a second just to figure that out. Nice gives me a hard time sometimes to Here we go. We are on week eleven. It was an interesting last week. Uh, last week most of the predictions went pretty well. Um, the dogs were able to defeat the legends in overtime. That was an and that was about when the Foxes were able to beat the Cardinals. That one wasn't so, so um, often. We got the Athens lose to the Hawks for the second win of the season for the Hawks. They're actually getting themselves together. The Giants are able to beat the Tex. The Stars lost again to the Angels. The Kings are able to beat in the end the Falcons. Warriors lost the Tigers. Indians won and are keeping their streak alive. Lions and Pirates faced off. The Lions won. The Chargers won against the Bears. The Jets and Ravens faced off. The Ravens were able to win that game. The Kings were able to beat the Dragons in the very end. The Browns won against the Saints. Saints. Raven. Million Cats lost to one against the Dolphins. The Lightning absolutely demolished the Werewolves in this last week. Otters were able to beat the Packers. Lynx and Superman in the game of the week. Lynx were able to win that game. Huskies won again. This one did not go to overtime, but it was very close to going to overtime. Colts beat the Bobcats, and that was pretty much all you needed to go for. Let's talk. We're going to talk real quickly about before we get into the actual wins, um, the World Series. Yeah, World Playoffs. As you can see, all of them have been decided except for this, except for the Eastern Division. The way it will work, just to go and give you guys an idea, is that. Each of these teams will play in a single elimination game, and the winner moves on to the next round. Now, they are not moving like this is going to go to here, this goes to here, or wherever this goes to here. It is by record, so it comes down to it. Whoever did the best will be playing against the other, the other teams, and after that, 
it kind of like just how the playoffs will work. And speaking of which, how the playoffs work, as we move back to the portion here, the playoffs are not too far away. Okay. Um, we do have, uh, we don't have any more eliminate eliminations this week. Um, although the Lightning and the Dolphins are still both on the block. They're both one this week, so they both stay in that position. As for the Bears, they're absolutely eliminated. The Hawks and Bulldogs are on the block. However, they're probably going to be on the block for a little bit longer because of the fact that the team, the lowest ranked team, it's five and five. Right now, we're not in a position where there's going to be any possibility. Yes. On the other hand, Winning this week for the Indians will clinch them if they win this week. No matter what happens, the Indians winning this week will mean that they will clinch their position. Their position because even if the Dragons win, they cannot come back at far enough to it. And same thing with Pirates. Uh, both those teams would have to. First off, both teams would have to win, and the Indians would have to lose. And for the Indians not to clinch at this position in time. As for the Tigers, they are not clinched yet. They will clinch next week. They could potentially clinch next week, assuming both the Ravens and the Giants and the Foxes all lose. If any of these teams win, they will not clinch because there's still a possibility that they might make it. Hawks have already been eliminated from that. The possibility of making it to the division leader but they can still make it to him as for the panthers no clinch and no one no way they're going to clinch anytime soon even then the legends have not yet even the legends have not yet been eliminated because they're only five games behind the same thing with now if we look at the browns they're in the ls division there's no clear winner right now Bulldogs are three games behind, and yet they're not even close to being even close to being uh, out yet. So there's no clue. There's no clear winner off of that in that place. They're all pretty much in the same record position. Um, anyone could basically win that division. It's basically just like the NFC South in football right now. So they're all still in the running for the division. I mean, who knows who's going to win that division in the end. As for the ABL North, it's also the same thing as the M as the NBL East. Um, everyone's pr still pretty much in the game, although the Lightning are pretty close to losing anything out. Um, they can still, they lose this week, and the Lightning Cats and or the Athens win they will be for sure on the block, and they'll be on the finalized block, which means they will be eliminated if they do run out and they lose. Uh, next to the end, we have the Otters, the Lynx, the Hits. Again, every, everyone's pretty much still in the playoff grasp. The Warriors are eliminated. They cannot make the playoffs. They can't. The best record they can get is 6-10, six and, six and, and unfortunately... Um, <laughs> Tex are currently in the worst position. They've already got half a game over them, so the Warriors are for sure eliminated. Same thing with the Stars. As for the Huskies, they are not. They cannot. They have not clinched yet, but they're close. Um, the Beagles losing this week would put them out of the play. Out of play to be able to make it to the win, being insured to being the possible leader luckily the for them the chargers and supermen are both still in position they can at this point in time still clinch the division because their best records are third this was 13 this is going to be 13 2 and 1 is their best possible record we got 12 to 12, 3, and 1. So they're still in a position where no one's going to be insured at. 
Um, Colts, everyone's in the same thing with this one pretty much. Even the Dolphins can still win the division, believe it or not. They can go to 8-8 eight, eight and eight at that point. But they are very close to being eliminated from this point. Uh, they can already almost not win the division. And, Do- and the UNC basically can't, almost can't win the division either. They're not, however, out of the playoff games. They're not on the block. They will be on the block this week if they lose because the Colorado State will, they have been one of the worst teams. Let's talk about next week. As I said in the intro of the video, everyone pretty much, it's not that one, is pretty much picking the exact same thing. The game of the week is the Panthers and the Dogs. Now, why is it the game of the week is the big question. Well, the fact is there's two reasons for this. One, it cannot be the Otters and the Lions because they've already had a game of the week. So they are not it wouldn't be allowed for them to be for them to be the actual game of the week. I believe they played they had a game of the week before and they were not picked. This is also not really off any control. Panthers and Dogs have the best record in comparison playing against each other. So they would be able to uh, be in it. Let's start off with looking at the first game. It's going to be the Giants and the Ravens. Both have very similar records. This is a tough one. Um, here's also the percentage for last week. I went 16-4. Uh, I had the best record of everyone. And I'm still in the top on the top of everyone. My perc- my percentage record is seven point five, uh, about point eight. I'm way ahead of everyone else at this point in time. I don't think there's any chance anyone catches up to me. I don't think that doesn't mean much. Let's we'll start off with the Jets or the Giants and the Ravens. This is a tough one. And honestly, I don't even know who to go with here because they both are really good positions and really great. I think looking at their positions when it comes to the Giants and Ravens, they're in the same division. Um, the Ravens are slightly better when it comes to off. The Giants are slightly better when it comes to offense. Ravens are not... And the Ravens are pretty good in offense, too. So this is actually going to be an offensive battle. And it comes down to a lot of things for me. I think the Giants have just done better recently. Um, I'm going to go with the Giants here. I do think they're going to have a better chance of going off with that off. Now, honestly, every one of these games could be an absolute position. And everyone's pretty much agreed. Everyone, except for the first game, everyone's agreed. The exact same thing. I might be the only one that goes a different, differently from everyone else. We got the eighth and the lightning. Sure, the lightning were able to win, but the werewolves that just did not show up in that regard. And I think honestly, it comes down to me. The eighth is definitely going to win this game. Stars and Beagles. I think we all have to say the Beagles. No, I don't want to do that. Are going to win that game. I do not see there's any chance that the Beagles do not win that game. Uh, we got the Colts and Texans. I, the Texans are, Texans are favored by 10. I am going with the Colts here. I think the Colts have a slightly better answer. They also are, even though the Texans are favored in this game, I do not think they're going to do as well at any points. We got the UNC and Superman. I think we all agree that Superman are going to be the team that wins that week. I'm going to come back to the Panthers and Dogs game. Angels and the Knights. Knights are favored by one. The closest game. By the way, these are actually tied in percentage for that. I am going to give the Knights the win here, but I think the Knights are going to put up. It's going to be a very good game. We got the Legends and Cardinals. They're basically it. I am going to give the Cardinals the win here because I think the Cardinals are going to be slightly better than the Legends. They're actually in the same division, so that means they faced off before. I'm going to go with the Cardinals here. Um, Tigers and Foxes, I believe it's pretty obvious the Tigers are going to win that game. I don't think there's any chance the Foxes are going to come back enough to win. 
We got the Lynx, uh, Lynx and the Hawks. Sure, the Hawks were able to come back and win this week. That means nothing to me. After that, though, I'm going to go with the Lynx. Win that game. We got the Otters and Lions. This could have easily been the game of the week, except the fact um, they had already it's already had been the game of the week. So I think we couldn't have, we couldn't have put it that way. And also, it was voted by someone by other people for it. Everyone else agreed for it. I honestly think this could have easily been the game of the week as well. I am going to go with the Lions. I think it, the Otters are going to win this game in the context of all the scoring, at least up to the end. It's probably going to go over top. I'm going with the Lions here. I'm pr I disagree with everyone else on this one. I do not think the Lions are going to do as well as we think. We got the Bobcats and the Dolphins. Dolphins are favored. Uh, yeah, Bobcats win that game. <laughs> uh, the Bobcats are just going to be able to surprise, are going to be surprising a surprising team, and I do think the Dolphins are going to win that game. Pirates and Dragons. Dragons are favored by 11, and I don't see any reason that the, the, the Pirates just aren't doing anything. They're going down while the, while the Dragons are going up. I will the Dragons here. Bears and Indians. I think the Indians definitely win that game. I just don't see the uh, Indians losing right now. We got the, the Bulldogs and the Saints. Bulldog got crushed last week, and honestly, with, it, with that being crushed, it just does, doesn't really work for me. I do have to look, say, that the Saints at this time, along with the Bulldogs, they're both actually pretty even, and both pretty even when it comes to offense. They're not even when it comes to defense, and that's where I'm going to have to say it's going to be the Saints to win that game. I do think it's going to be a much closer game, though, than what this is saying. We got the Knights, the Kings, and the Jets. Jets are favored by 19, and honestly, I have to agree with them here. I don't think the Jets are going to be, I think it's going to be an absolute blowout for that. Browns and the, and the Falcons. I'm going with the Browns here. I do not think the Falcons just the Falcons are just not a team right now that can do much when, when it comes to it. Another team that's going to be interesting to face, for instance, is going to be the Leland Cats versus the Werewolves. I'm going to go with the Leland Cats here. I do think it's going to come down to the fact whether the Werewolves show up or not. If they don't show up, it's going to be an absolute blowout of the Leland Cats. Warriors and Packers, we are going to see the Packers win that game. Packers are just much better than the Warriors. Warriors just haven't done anything. Now, this is also a game that could be in the week. They decided not to put this game at the game of the week because it was slightly closer for the Panthers and Dogs. And this is a tough one. Huskies are favored by one. I just don't know what to say. I will say right now that I think the Chargers are going to put up a really good fight. It's going to be a very close game. This game is going to go to overtime. But I am going to pick the Huskies. I do think the Huskies are showing us a lot more than they are against. I think it's going to be a close game. and think it is going to go into overtime. That is my picks for this week. And that's all I have time for this tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next next week in week 12 and we'll have some eliminations probably into the playoffs see you guys in the next video yeah